friends welcome back to all in law and today's topic of discussion is gram positive gram positive rods today I'm gonna classify gram positive rods and try to tell you the features of some important gram positive rods okay guys so this is a really very important topic for USMLE step one okay guys and it's important for even for a medical student second year medical students pharmacy students I and mean even for nursing students so guys before starting a discussion on this I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let's classify the gram positive rods okay the gram positive rods we classify the first step what we classify is depending on the spores spore forming spores okay whether it's a non spore forming non spore forming no spores forming bacteria non spores or spore forming bacteria okay guys so we classify gram positive rods into spores depending on the spores whether they form or not it's non spore non spore forming and the spore forming let's talk about the non spore forming the non spore forming gram positive bacteria are further classified into two types on depending on oxygen utility that's aerobic and anaerobics okay anaerobics so in aerobics we have again we classify depending on the motility okay depending on the motility whether it's a motile or whether it's a non motile if it's a motile the bacteria in this category is the most important very important is L monocytogens listerius monocytogens okay right and in non motile we have two important bacteria that's carnibacterium diphtheriae and and asteroids okay the n asteroids and c diphtheriae are classified depending on their other clinical feature uh, sorry other laboratory or what you call the microbiological features okay like uh, c diphtheria we have uh, their chinese characters right and uh, they produce an exotoxin like adpr of ef2 uh, exon hardened walls nerves okay then they are club shaped alec test okay i'm going to discuss those things later okay and uh, and asteroids we have urea positive okay and they are partially acid fast that's a really very important point and they form macetoma okay a brain abscess and these are the important features of n asteroids okay so let's classify in anaerobics of uh, non spore forming bacteria gram negative gram positive bacteria um uh, is a actinomyces is really okay actinomyces is really and they have their own feature the important is sulfur granules in exudates okay from the sinus tract you know very well and this is very important feature of this uh, uh, a Israeli okay so uh, regarding the each individual bacteria I'm going to talk later now I'm going to talk about what you call um, spore forming bacteria classify in the next screen 
spore forming gram negative gram positive gram positive rods okay so we classify on same thing as we classify the non spore forming so whether it's aerobic or anaerobics okay in aerobics we divide into whether they are motile or whether it's non motile in motile we have bacillus cereus can you tell me the important feature of this uh, bacteria tell me Chinese fast food guys if you see this type of word in your USMLE step on examination think of bacillus cereus okay it's gonna act within one to six hours and self-limiting okay fried Chinese fried rice very important point okay I'm gonna talk about later about this okay and it also increases cyclic AMP cyclic AMP very important point catching points I'm talking about right now okay in a non motile bacteria we have bacillus anthracis anthracis okay right in anaerobics we have again classified the motility okay one is a motile another one is a non motile this motile we classify and we the bacteria that lie in this group are clostridium tetanae okay clostridium botulinum okay and clostridium difficile right got it tell me the importance of this clostridium difficile guys uh, this is antibiotic associated uh, what you call um, diarrhea right it forms a pseudo membranous colitis pseudo membranous colitis very important feature of this uh, what you call uh, clostridium difficile okay and it also increases cyclic AMP remember in a non motile we have clostridium perforangens okay right so did you get an idea how to classify gram positive rods I'm sure this video was really very helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video uh, please take care and please do subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends thank you take care